You're in Texas Racing here, welcome to Suzuka. And here we're actually jumping into the qualifying lap. Uh, there was a new thing now after the update that there is actually no fuel consumption uh, being a component of the qualifying. So you don't have to, people are not fuel burning. There were actually people fuel burning, uh, but that's waste because that's not doing anything. So I did, this is actually my second uh, hot lap or is it my first I don't remember yeah it's, it's probably I think it's the second so anyway uh, I did pretty good I think um, trying to uh, to get the good uh, flow here I have my car record as a reference my car record was 2072 which was really really good so uh, here in the first sector I'm in point one behind I'm very close to uh, the actual time for my car record and here this is something I've been on I'm driving the McLaren 650s so that uh, hairpin I've been doing in the first gear or second gear but if I get enough momentum I can go around on the second gear there I think that's actually the best thing hitting this pretty good fourth gear third gear try to kiss the curb a little bit and get on the throttle here as quick as possible for the round down also what's new for this round here with the update is that this slipstream is much less of a factor so I didn't worry about getting close to someone I just wanted some space uh, to do a good lap and at this point I'm finalizing here try to be careful, I, I, I should go closer to that, uh, to the apex there. I'm going on the right side to maximize my speed in over uh, the line, I get 2084. And at the end of the day, I'm in fourth, uh, starting fourth. So here we go, here we're starting the final. So a couple of uh, Porsches ahead of me here, as you can see. So there were three Porsche ahead of me, and uh, that's me in fourth. And here we go, rolling start as usual. So I'm using this view this time because there are crazy things happen in the first turn. I'm gaining on that Porsche a little bit, so I'm going on the inside. I'm not touching here, but everyone kind of goes wide, including me. I don't get that bad of a spin. Tra managed to recover. And here we see it from my view. See, I'm not touching, but we go. I'm always going, almost going off. And I managed to stay put. So you see we have this whole train of cars behind us now so I'm, I'm just trying to get some distance so this is cold tires just try to get a distance to the car behind me the wheelie hot rod and my uh, strategy for the tires it's to uh, I starting on soft running soft for nine laps then a couple of laps on medium and the very last lap, that's when I'm using the hard. Keeping an eye behind me here, you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of distance to, to, the, pa to the guy behind me, Wheel of Hot Rod, and then the pack behind. So I really like the McLaren when he can stretch out like this on this track it's pretty cool never remember the names of the different uh, turns on the tracks should do a better commentary that way probably I think that was Spoon maybe so here we're back on the regular view and you see here I have one second to the guy behind 2.2 to the guy, guy in front A 
and that chicane always scares me. I try to go careful when I'm in the race and push more when I'm in the in a qualifying situation. So, so here we are, 1.3 behind. Uh, the car behind me is 1.3. So, uh, yeah, that's really how it stayed. So, uh, we're coming in here uh, to do the tire change to hard. So, here's my team ready. Should really get them in the green suits to match the new uh, paint job on the car. It's one of the special paints, and I kind of really dig it with the silver and white. Filling up a little bit of fuel, I had about the lap that I needed to uh, to fill up. So here coming out on cold hard tires, I was a little bit concerned over that. Um, at this point, uh, I have about six seconds to the guy in front, and I have eight seconds to the guy behind me. So I feel pretty confident here I think the guy behind me was on a different strategy because before the pit stop I was he didn't stop for this last for this last lap so when I went in I think I was like 25 seconds ahead or something so I had plenty of room to do this pit stop without being chased afterwards and I'm doing this camera view here because I just think this car looks marvelous in its new paint job for the season. Taking it easy there on that uh, hairpin. Just want to do a clean lap. It's not going to be a very fast lap, but uh, just want it to be clean. Don't do anything stupid or go out. And this turn is so tricky it's kind of easy to go wide and then here you just have to get on the throttle and go 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 on the last straight and as you see there the fuel is blinking so I have eight seconds to the guy behind I almost ten seconds to the guy in front he, he was just impossible to catch um, just a great race from him this was my first manufacturer's race as an A driver in quite a while. I haven't been A driver in quite a while, so it was an all A driver room. So I was really, really excited to get on the podium in second place. There we go, Nick DeRay was the winner. Second place, round one. And thank you again for watching and uh, please follow and like the video and i'll be back for next race red bull ring